All right, people, as you see right across the street, it's uh, VIP Records. There's the uh, world famous VIP Records sign, as you see. We're getting ready to go inside and see what's going on. And we'll be back. We are in the hood on Long Beach, California, on MLK Boulevard and 1020 East Pacific Highway. Coast right. Highway. That's right. Get our ease on the money. I'm standing here with the owner's son, yes, who is ready to take it into the next 30 years of uh, the business. However long it may be. Okay. No, no, I don't want to stop it there. Yeah, don't even stop it there. Take it to next generation of next generation. This is Calvin Anderson Jr. Not everybody. Stepping up, uh, providing services uh, above and beyond music. He also does graphics. He does printing. Uh, you do websites? I do it. Honestly, you can find something I don't do, I'm shocked. Okay, yeah, that's just, it. Just to generalize. Just to generalize. Okay, taking it on to the next, taking it on to the next level. Because you know the record store, anyone who knows the Black Ice Chronicle series, it talks about how the record store is a community based situation where the community can come in and not only get good music, but it can be good conversation all the time. Uh, great services at great prices. Okay, so let's talk about your dad for a minute. See, all right, he was always and is still about the community and helping the MCs like Snoop and uh, Warren G. Talk a little bit about why he feels and why you feel that the record store is here to help the community more than just to make a dollar. Oh, well, in my personal opinion, is that my father, he always took on the, the concept of it takes a village to raise a child, per se. So he was always wanting to be opening his doors no matter what. If he saw somebody kind of in the street doing bad, he would pull to the side and help him. That's just his normal spirit. So he just took that into his place of business. He, uh, as far as the Snoop and all of them, uh, just to put that in a nutshell, what he did was they all used to hang out in front of his shop. And so he was like, well, instead of them being out here fighting and getting into trouble, he took uh, his old storage space, cleared it out, and went that same day and just went and bought a bunch of music equipment, came back and said, look, instead of you guys hanging out here, just go back there and do some music, like show me what you can do with this stuff. And that's how everything came about. That's how it happened. Mm -hmm. Black Ice Chronicles Massive, this is Crazy D. I'm standing in the world famous VIP <laughs> Records at 1020 East Pacific Highway in Long Beach, California. It is the place for you to pick up the Black Ice Chronicles Females DVD and the Black Ice Chronicles The Shifter DVD. Come in today, pick them up, you will be entertained. The Black Ice Chronicles. Have you uh, been able to really sit back yet and take in the influence that VIP Records has had on the community or is it still working in progress and you really haven't had a chance to sit back and take stock of wow this is big but well, even for me to this day it's still a wild fact because every day i'm learning something new that that this shop has done for people to where small lot town kind, of, kind of took for granted like yeah it's just a record shop i was just used to just running in here just tearing stuff up anyway so uh well once i actually grew up and then you know a lot of people that come back and tell me stories of how they did things and how my father helped them through things i'm like oh yeah and it's just a big wild fact to me. Like a lot of, I never, I never fully realized how much the community actually was my family to a certain degree. To where the closeness that they felt with my father, to where they look at me as a little brother or as a little cousin or nephew or things like that. Some people that been knowing me since a kid that even I wouldn't even remember at first glance, they'll come in here and treat me with so much family respect and love, and I wouldn't understand why. But then they come in and explain what my father did to them that made them so close to where. They had to come back to show him some type of appreciation, which I'm grateful for. Okay. So now with the transition of going from uh, uh, reel to reel mm -hmm. to 8-track to cassette, and of course the vinyl disc that came from 
acetate and move into vinyl. Right. Now we're way past all of that now into the disc, way past the disc now mm -hmm. into the disc little layer. jump drives right. loading up. So how has that affected the business? Oh, it's, it's affected it tremendously in all honesty. Uh, what's going on, bro? Like in all honesty, it, it, it's affected it a lot because nowadays you've gotten to the point to where you can't be free. You know what I mean? It's like once people know that they can just quickly get it off of somebody's or just download it for free, why pay for it? You know what I mean? In all honesty, I can understand, you know what I mean, the times and today to where a lot of stuff that's, that they would consider luxury, they don't go for it no more because, you know, everything is about saving the dollar, which we understand. But at the same time, it's just like anybody's job. You don't want to take away from their life because they're blessing you with something that you love and enjoy. So, you know, it's, it's a gift and curse for that. But with digital, there is there is nothing else after that. There's going to be no more physical form of music. You know, like most people that that uh, that likes music per se, we used to read the credits, who produced stuff, who engineered, you know, who put their time and dedication into it versus nowadays. I'm going to say my generation and later, they don't appreciate it the same way. It, and that's why a lot of music nowadays don't have as much longevity as music in the 80s and the 70s did to where that music today will still be played and it will still be considered brand new in the mentality of people versus nowadays music is 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. So is it music which was always the lifeblood through mm -hmm. any movement? Always. You know, is it that the music now is throwaway? Is it, is it throwaway? Just throw away generation. I don't care about this. Just throw it away. Yeah. Let's move on to the next. It, that's 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 all. This new generation is is just generation next. After about thirty minutes of them playing it, they want to know what else is out versus like the Marvin Gaye era, to where that one album would last him five years before he had to put out another. Or you Michael know, Jackson. Or Michael Thriller. Jackson. Like pretty much that whole Motown era or anybody of that sort. Lifetime music, to where their music will still surpass what a, a Drake would do nowadays or. A, you know what I mean? Or anybody of that caliber. Not taking away from those artists, they're good, but their music will never last as long as the, the R albums did. Fighting the retail game for 15 years with the labels. Mm -hmm. uh, how much of it is that the community can see the fight that the urban independent store has to fight to get the marketing dollar, to get the the same respect that they will automatically go to the Best Buy and say, "Here, nine ninety nine." Right. Right. How much is uh, of it is that? How much of it is the people not respecting the record labels? Because somewhere, maybe they might not know the behind the scenes like we know, right? But they feel that there's something going on, and all at the same time, that causes some of our people to say, "Well, you're less than, even though you're in the community." Right? Right. So this is a real complex thing, right. and I want to see somebody else's take on it. How much of it is they see that they even they, they're still doing a self hate thing? Towards the, re the, re urban the urban retailers, right. and but yet at the same time, they're lashing out at the record labels for obviously totally disregarding mm -hmm. us as a people. Right. 